Yo guys, welcome back to Brady PDCGO video. Today guys, we're looking at one of my favorite decks to play and that is going to be an Unpheasant deck. This is a very annoying deck and it will make your opponents concede in anger. So Downburst is your main attack and it is a very fun attack for three energy. So this works with a triple energy because Unpheasant is an evolution. You may have each player shuffle all cards attached to their active Pokemon back in their deck. So the idea is Downburst will reset your opponent's energy on their active putting all their energy back in the deck and it will put your triple energy back which means you get unlimited triple energy because you can keep putting it back into the deck that's the idea of the strategy downburst is a very fun attack to use and it will annoy the opponent because they just can't attack and unless they're playing a welder deck or something they don't have energy acceleration system they're gonna cry and it's gonna be funny um now we can play the pidgeotto engine in the deck the bird we make it a bird party deck air mail obviously allowing us to make it easier to find our triples every turn and set up and Level Ball was a great addition to the deck, allowing us to get Pidgey, Pidgeotto, and P-Dub, and Tranquil. So Level Ball makes this deck even stronger if there was any chance of this deck ever getting stronger. Level Ball is how we get it stronger. This is the list that I'm using here. Yeah, before we get into the video, guys, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Car Cabin, TCG. Of course, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack code, get them over at Car Cabin. Car Cabin sells codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys are looking to pick up any set codes like Shining Fate, Battle Styles, Vivid Voltage, Sword Shield Base Set, Cosmic Eclipse, team up unified minds or you're looking for a specific gx or promo code or an etb code a sleeve code a pre-release promo kit code or you want to get one of the new battle arena codes get them over at car cabin get any codes over at car cabin of course guys at the checkout you can use my discount code code ldf for a five percent discount on your purchase at the checkout health channel help yourself out and help out car cabin so big shout out to car cabin check them out use code ldf also if you want to check out the video articles i've been posting make sure to go give them a watch i just posted one on that snorlax cheryl deck and also uh an altaria and a decidui deck profile so let's look at the list here so this is what i'm rocking with for my unpheasant deck I think this deck is pretty fun to play because it's annoying to play against. If you don't have like a really easy energy acceleration system like Rillaboom, which is probably just an auto loss, like Rillaboom like completely destroys us. But if, you're, if you don't really have an energy acceleration system, you know, if you're one of those attached attack turns, or you maybe have something small to power energy and play, but nothing insane. And Pheasant can be a super big pain in the butt to play against. And uh, these Pidgeotto decks are super fun. I have like three or four other Pidgeotto engines built because Pidgeotto is just way too fun to play right now because it's just fun to play. Now, um, I will say in the first two games, I didn't play a Snorlax. I actually played a Pidgeot in the deck instead. In the last game, I cut the Pidgeot for Snorlax because I realized Snorlax is probably needed in here. Um, but the final list does play a Snorlax. And honestly, you could probably find room for a second Snorlax because we do play uh, four Bird Keepers. I am playing a Munchlax to go with Snorlax because there's a lot of times where after you've done Downburst and you've reset their energy and if your opponent is just kind of stuck without anything to do, you can just have a Munchlax and do Snack Search and maybe just get a resource back if you ever need one. So that's why I am playing Snack Search in the deck. I am playing Mew, of course, to protect our bench. But yeah, just resetting the opponent's energy is insane. And the only energy we're playing is four triples. Now, I am also playing one copy of Capture Energy because it's important to have Capture in the deck. Um, in my opinion, you can't use it with Unpheasant, but it's still good to get pokemon in play to set up more so that's why capture is still good in here it never hurts to play one for the stadiums i am playing a swell and two giant or two power plants the reason for the power plant is because against mewtwo we can put plant in play and hopefully disrupt them but also the swell is good against the welder deck so that's why i'm playing these three stadiums um, i wish i could play wonders labyrinth in here but you can't use wonders labyrinth and unpheasant with triple energy if you could that'd be insane um yeah we got the level balls we got quick ball calm evil incense one rod Two rods might be better. One pal pad, mainly to get boss back. Boss is very important. Basically, if your opponent has a Pokemon that they can attach onto the bench, because you hit the active with downburst, well, my opponent can just power up their bench Pokemon. Well, that's why I am playing three copies of boss's order, a pal pad, and a Sinlin, because we have a ton of access to boss. And anytime they try to put something on the bench that can just they power up while Unpheasant is attacking the active, we can boss chase that Pokemon and reset their energy. So that's why the boss is very good. Uh, Bruno's really nice, and then Bird Keeper, Sinlin, Marnie two u-turns yeah that's the list stamp's really good too in the late game stamp to like two or three cards with a downburst sometimes can seal you the victory that'll be it now let's go look at the list and have some uh, fun with the deck right, here we go let's try out this unpheasant deck here oh boy it's gonna be a lot of fun and uh, reset some energy and see how the deck ends up doing for us here we get a lone pidgey start here we do have a turn to unpheasant though so that's kind of decent Probably gonna have to get more Pidgeys in play though before we do much because we need to make sure we loop Pidgeotto. My point is using a Trumbeak engine. That's gonna make things very interesting. Um, let's grab Pidgey. We do have most of our supporters, I think. 
Yeah, I'll just grab Pidgey, I guess, and hope for the best. I might even... Might even calm here. I think I will calm the... I'm fezzing, I'm fine with that. We can always get it back. Go grab Munchlax. Actually get the level ball back on top of the deck. Then we can potentially get double Pidgeotto. To be honest, I don't hate that. Just get Munchlax now. We don't know what we're playing against, though, so... I think I'll get Munchlax. And then we can try to put the level ball back on top of the deck. No. Because then we just could have went Evil Wind Sense level ball for double Pidgeotto. Because we might not draw a Pokemon. I guess I could have held the hand, too. I want to get Pokemon in play. So, I don't know. I, I maybe... Yeah, I, I think getting Munchlax is fine. But it failed anyways. We could have... Ooh, they got Lightning in their deck. That's not good. They're playing an Electric Attacker. Hmm. Kyogre Amazing Rare. Well, unfortunately for my opponents... Uh, kind of decently, uh, interesting Trumbeak deck here. Once we get one attack with Unpheasant, they pretty much lose, because it's hard for them to get four energy back on, probably, so. As long as we don't get, we need to find Mew now. We need to find, I didn't know what they were playing, so I was like, oh, I, if I knew they were playing Kyogre, I would have got Mew. Oh, no. Alright, my opponent's already got this Kyogre. We literally lose to the Kyogre if we don't get Mew, because we have no Pokemon in play that can take a hit. <laughs> Kyogre. So bad. Could get me this turn. If they have another Turbo Patch Water Energy, they could also pop a Coco, but it doesn't look like they will. Maybe next turn. Not looking good, though. We have to get Mew down this turn. Oh, no. What do we draw? Power Plant. Not bad. I'll take it. Evo Incense for the Pidgeotto. We literally lose if we don't get Mew. Like, there's a slight chance they don't get the knockout, but, like, probably gonna happen. Right, we got a Pokemon. Probably should have evolved it on the bench, actually. I don't know why I did the active, and that didn't make any sense. The point is, we got the Mew. All that matters. The snack search. Ails again. Oh my god. This does not want... I, why did I evolve the active into the Pidgeotto? I don't know. No, I should have evolved the bench. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I was kind of rushing. So I was like, we need to find the Mew. Because we had a Pokecom in our hand. Munchlax has got me tails twice in a row, which is not good. We, we're we going to be in a lot of trouble if they knock me out, which is very likely. They're not going to get the, the board sweep, but, like, if they just knock out Munchlax, we're going to lose. Because we're unable to get to a an Pheasant here. Because we are not drawing any of our supporters, and we're not getting Marnie, and we can't get heads on Snack Search. Definitely should have evolved the Bench Pidgey. I really... Why did I not do that? Again, I was rushing because I was like, we need a Pokemon. Okay. They're going to hit me with a beautiful Marnie. Power plant's in play, so if they play Dedenne, they can't Dedenne. So they're going to bank off this Marnie to find them enough energy or some way to attack with Kyogre. Okay, that got us a supporter. All right, this is fine. Holy crap, they got two Kyogres off of that. Let's see what they got here. Dedenne. And that's why I play Power Plant in the deck. Well, mainly for the Mewtwo matchup, but I mean, that works too. My opponent... The Dene's under a power plant. That is why the power plant's in the deck. Let's go. Let's go. Munchlax actually a pretty good baity Pokemon here. Another Pidgeotto. I was gonna get a uh, I was gonna get a what's his face there, you know? You know what's his face. A Pedo. But uh We'll just do airmail first. There we go. I mm, do we want to Marnie? Then they have a two card hand. They tried to do the Dene. I don't think I want to play Marnie here. Alright, yeah, let's get double Pedo. I just want to see what uh airmail gets us first. We can do this. Level ball for... Probably just get two P-dubs down. I wouldn't mind getting a third Pidgeotto established, but... Need to get Unpheasant in play. I'm just gonna Snack Search here. Three tails in a row, bro? What the heck, Munchlax? Why do you suck so much, bro? My man's is terrible. What would I have gone back with Snack Search, though, to be honest? Probably the Evo Incense. Actually, level ball... No, Evo Incense. Okay, they don't have a boss this turn, so that's good. We can finally Marnie them, because they're going to have a big enough hand. Munchlax, you suck. Why Why do you have to get three tails in a row, bro? Well, what is that about? What was that? Okay, they can dig a little bit harder with Crobat here, of course. They do have that available to them. They only have one Peaky Peck in place, so this makes our Unpheasant really good, because, like, they have one Trombeak to rely on powering up their Kyogres. They also can't bench Tapu Koko Prism Star right now. That's good. If they ever knock out Mew, we could be in a bit of trouble. But as long as we, like, hit them with the Unpheasant, we should be okay. It just sucks Pidgeotto gets bodied by Kyogre. 
Like, it looks scary, but, like, again, we reset their energy. It's really not that bad. All right, let's get a Tranquil down. Try to work our way towards the Sun Pheasant. Then we can Marnie them here, and we're looking for... Rare Candy, Trumby. Okay, no, we got Rare Candy. Okay, so now we just need... Rare Candy again. Am I Marnie me? I think I'll take Sinlin. All right. We're not going to get the attack this turn, unfortunately. Yeah, and there's the Unpheasant rip. Yeah, no attack this turn. No attack. That's unfortunate. It's fine, though. You get triple energy next turn, revive. And we even have, uh, we have Spin Storms, too. I forgot about that. We have Spin Storm we can do on the Kyogre. Um, it's not terrible, either. I will right, we'll see my opponent does here. Okay, that's good. They're doing Trumbeak now, which is what I'm glad. Because if they get a poor Trumbeak here, that's one Trumbeak they just wasted for when I reset their energy. But it looks like the Trumbeak actually managed to get them two energy. If two Turbo Patch. Oh my god. All right, that Trumbeak was insane. Good thing Kyogre can't one-shot on a Pheasant. And still no boss for my opponent, which is good. So we can Marnie them again. Just want to keep Marnie them here. There's another Turbo Patch. Oh no. And they get a Heads. They don't have a Water Energy in the discard. So it's actually not that big of a deal. But they can spread the energy out quite a bit, which is still kind of scary. This is winnable, though. The fact they can't one-shot on Pheasant does... A lot. Like, it's really good for us. Yeah, on Pheasant not being able to get one-shot on Kyogre is really good. Um, what did they do? Yep, yeah, just made Zerge. All right, well... I don't know if they play Scoop Up Net or not. We'll see if they Scoop Up Net their on Pheasant. Or their Beak. Trumbeak. There's a lot of birds in this matchup, bro. There's a Trumbeak, Pidgeotto, on Pheasant. A whole lot of them. All right, I would play Bruno there, but I am in a Marnie because I want to make sure we take away their boss. Oh my gosh, we still didn't find a triple energy. Hey, Airmail. Bruh. No, not like this, dude. You, you can't do me like... We need a triple. If we get a triple this turn... There we go. Whew. Got one. I forgot we even had energy in the deck because I didn't see energy all game, but we actually got the triple. Can you believe it? That's another Pidgey for now. Here we go. Down burst. So we're all going to shuffle our energy back into the deck. My opponent does have a Kyogre, but now they have to move their active. They could play Scoop Up Net. I got to imagine they are playing a couple Scoop Up Nets in their deck, but they have Bird Keeper, I guess. But they aren't going to knock out anything. Uh, Pheasant takes a hit from Kyogre. They do have the Water. Do they have the Bird Keeper? Oh, they have the Scoop Up Net. Okay, they did have the Net, but do they have the Both on top of that? That would be bad, but we are resetting their energy, though. It's bad, but not too bad. If they don't have a boss here, I'm feeling pretty good. No boss. Nice. All right, cool. We need to make sure we find triple energy again. Capture. We're going to calm for another Pidgeotto. Oh, we prized two of our triple energies. That's why we can't find them. Oh, no. Crap, that's not good. I want a Bird Keeper. Well, look at that. We found it. No problemo. No problemo at all. Easy peasy. Another one. We'll take it. They could Marnie me, of course. We can try to shuffle our deck. Airmail again. We'll just take stuff that's not supporters. So I want to make sure there's supporters still somewhere in the deck. We didn't get another on Pheasant. I actually would have preferred to go on Pheasant here, but it's unlikely they're going to attack me anyway, so no big deal. So we'll just downburst them here. Reset the energy. And I actually might boss or Trumbeak next turn so they don't have access to Trumbeak. That is one thing they do have. They could use Trumbeak next turn to power up their Pokemon. But whatever Pokemon they put Charging Trumpet onto, if they ever do anything, we're going to boss that Pokemon. We have four bosses orders with Palpad. And if we ever get access to Munchlax again, which apparently will never happen. Um, that's fine. Yeah, I think we'll boss that Kyogre there with the two energy on it. They got to run out of Scoop Net eventually, too. They keep healing. Um, well, to be honest, though, they didn't really... We really do too much. We don't have to boss them. And they have a two-card hand. It's pretty hard for them to attack me. They could have a supporter. I think we always are. I think we're always hitting this. And resetting their energy. These capture energies are not very good anymore. Well, side power might be useful at the late, late in the game. I'm trying to get another pheasant down if I can. I can't find one, though. Yo, one pheasant, where you at? What? I like the power plant. That's pretty good. They got another Viridian. All right, here we go. Downburst. Reset their energy again. See you later, Kyogre. All right, nice. And again, we have a lot of bosses orders to work with. So 
Well, we have five boss, right? Not four, we have five. If we ever get Munchlax back, that'd be good. Okay, they have another scoop up net. They are really saving their Kyogres. That's annoying, but again, like, we're resetting them really hard. They need to get a uh, Peaky Peck down. Yeah, there they go. They got a Quick Ball. They could play double Crobat, but I don't think they do. I feel like they'd be playing more to Denny than Crobat. We're about to find out, though. We're about to find out. Yeah, let's get another Peaky Peck. So we can just boss the Peaky Peck, which probably is the correct play. Just boss Peaky Peck and then pal pad the bosses back. They have a one card hand just in energy. They're in top deck mode, but yeah, if we just chase their Peaky Peck here, we should be fine. Another boss. Just take them all, I guess. I mean, they could draw Marnie, but like the odds are like 1 in 29 chance. Or I guess like maybe 2 in 29 chance. There's the Unpheasant finally. Make sure we find that other triple. A bird keeper to work with. We could just hit the Kyogre here, too, to be honest. Not terrible. Uh, I think we just boss this, right? We want to knock that thing out. We'll play Palpad next turn. I guess Quick Ball away one of the captures. We're finally going to get a prize. We get triple the prizes here. I'm feeling really good. Because working with two triples is not that good. We want to work with three. So, take a knockout. Triple. Let's go. We got it. Nice. Yeah, I didn't play the pal pad because we want to go airmail, find triple first. But we got the thing anyways. And that should be pretty much... Not game over, but like, we're like... Yeah, we're super far ahead in the, at this point. And we'll do a couple airmails, I guess. Just... I don't know. We don't really have to do airmail, to be honest. We're pretty safe right now. We can just downburst them. Get this Calgary for 90. Reset all of its energy. You know what? On face value, this matchup looks scary, right? Kyogre can literally wipe out all of our Pidgeotos... But because of Mew and the fact they couldn't find Boss, and the fact that Unpheasant resets their four energy attack makes it super, super strong. And there is the Bird Keeper. See what they get here. If they bench another PE pack, we're just going to boss chase it. You know? It's going to boss chase. Nope, not much else. All right, well. So, airmail. Need to try to make sure we're finding more triples. But we have so many apps. There's a recent stamp. I'd rather have Bird Keeper. There we go. Make sure we have two. I'm fine with just hitting the active. I mean, it, again, it's super hard for them to attack me anyways. Like, they're, I don't even think they can attack me because they're down most of their turbos. They have no peekies in play. So, we can just hit the Calgary for 90. I don't really... How are we going to deal with these Dedenian Crobats? I think our game plan is just whittle them away and then just, like, we'll, we'll win eventually. That's my game plan. It's not going to be boss or... Boss are two prizers. It's really going to just be us whittling away at their uh, at their resources here. I should probably play the Pal Pad, though, because we do get Marnied here. We probably want to have those those things in the deck. They have another Bird Keeper. It's not a Marnie, though. That's their last Bird Keeper, right? Not? They've only played three? Bro, how? How they played three? There's a Sight. What else did they get? Did they actually play? No, there's no way they play more Crobat. Hmm. Okay, yeah, next turn we're gonna pal pad the boss back because I you know if they bench a peaky peck, we need to be able to chase it. Okay. Do airmail first, make sure we get that triple energy in our hand before we do the pal pad. There we go. Make sure we get the triple. I'm not gonna do any more airmails. We're just gonna pal pad. Back those bosses' orders. Attach. And we are gonna get another knockout. Look at that. We're going to get another knockout. Well, actually, we can go 90 with capture. We can just knock him out with Gust, actually. Oh, I forgot about that. We can actually just kill him with Gust here and actually make use of our capture energy. That's pretty good. Or we can use capture energy if they try to trap something for a turn. That could also... Maybe I want to save it. I don't know. I, it doesn't matter. At this point, downburst is, like, always working, but we have the option to do Gust, I guess. Maybe we should take advantage of it, but we're kind of in control of the game right now. Any Pokemon they bench that is a threat, we're going to boss out. We're probably just going to boss a Kyogre here. To be honest and knock it out because i can technically next turn they can't attack me because they have turbo patch still there's a research they do lose one of their boss's orders so that's good the less boss they have the better because my mew is safe look ball probably gonna get a peaky peck it's their last cowgirl too though so they have to find a rod this turn we could knock it i mean if we can knock out the peaky pack make it harder for them but i think we always knock out the cowgirl no they get a guru no peaky pack do they not have any peaky packs left I got to. 
Maybe we should just knock out the Trumby because it can scoop up Nana. I think we just hit the Kyogre. We definitely knock out Kyogre here. I think I will downburst it because, like, again, we we can gust it, but, like, I'd rather save the capture energy in case you try to trap something. I know we have Bird Keeper in the deck, but I don't know. Better safe than sorry, I guess. If we knock out the Kyogre, we should be fine. We just go. Nah, we'll do the capture because we can always get the capture energy back when we downburst again. We go boss. And we'll just gust. Yeah, that works, I guess. Because we can always just downburst the energy back anyways. It's not a big deal. I forgot about that. There's another triple. We got all of our triples back in the deck. They are out of Kyogre. They still have Rod to work with, so that is still a thing. Once they knock out this on Pheasant, we're going to bench another P-Dove and go from there. So should be okay, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens here. There's another Primate Wisdom. They're down three research too, three bird keeper. They're down all their oh, they're out of research. Okay. So they're low on supporters. They play Trumbeak now. Alright, that should be chilling. I mean they can power up the Denny, I guess, which can knock me out. Not really a problem though, because like they still have to go through four on pheasants. Okay, they're gonna knock me out with a rank guru here. Which is fine. They're just gonna reset their energy. It doesn't really matter. They finally get a prize, but it gets a little too late for it to really make that much of a difference. So now we just promote the unpheasant. I guess we did lose our capture, but it's not a big deal. Bench P-Dove. Catch triple. Gonna do this thing. We're just gonna have a downburst. Not gonna do anything else. Just gonna hold the hand and go downburst. We still have Pidgeot. If we want to use Pidgeot. We still have Pidgeot to work with. So don't forget about that. We still have our Pidgeot somewhere. It's just, we're big chilling. We're big chilling. I mean, my opponent has a built-in energy acceleration system. And it's like, they couldn't stop the birds, man. They could stop the unpheasants from just destroying them. There is a Marnie finally for my opponent. We do lose Rare Candy, but, like, we have Triple Pidgeotto. We should find our triples here, too. We have three triples in the deck, so I think we're guaranteed a triple, actually. Yeah, easy. We got Sinlin, too. We can even reset Stamp them, which isn't terrible. Like, they can buy a lot of time, because they have Pokemon that can take hits from... Everything can take a hit outside of the Trumbeaks. But, like, we're going to get them eventually. This is why I play such a heavy count of bosses' orders, so it's, like... We can chase whatever they tried to go into. This would be a great time to do Munchlax. We have Munchlax here. I probably would have went Snack Search instead of attacking them to try to get that boss back. The more boss, the better. If we can just chase their stuff and remove their energy, it's like easy peasy. See what my opponent has, though. They do have... Okay, there, yeah. Part of the Dene. So we can... I don't know if we're going to find boss, to be honest. But we can do this first, I guess. There, when we got boss. Look at that. <laughs> we can just boss the Dene here. Nice, Tranquil. Love to see it. Do another airmail. The boss is pretty good. Yeah, we'll just... Do we want to boss to Dene? Yeah, it's fine. It might not be able to move. We can go knock out... We can go knock out Trumbeak. And then, like, knock out to Dene now for game. Well, they could Tingly return if they ever get to that point. We'll see. We have another boss in our hands. So we just need to make sure we don't whip the triple next turn. We have all four in the deck. With a triple air mail, we're seeing most of our deck here. So I think we should, we should be fine. We have Sinlin to get back boss too. So we have even more boss. We have so many bosses in this matchup, I just realized. But you need boss. Without boss, it's hard to win games because your opponent can just power up their bench Pokemon. Yeah, they're probably going to retreat the Dedenne. They are going to be losing another line energy. So I got to imagine they're playing Tapu Coco Prism though. I got to imagine they have the Coco Prism in the deck. There's no way they don't play a Coco Prism, right? Well, they actually could be Crobat. All right, what are we top deck? Bird Keeper. All right, let's do airmail first. Try to find triple. First airmail, we got the triple energy. You love to see it. We'll do another airmail. We need to find. Uh, we need to find another unpheasant. Nope. Take, I'll just take these cards. I don't want to take any supporters in case I'm a Marnie. Obviously. There's boss knockout to Dene, and then we just Sinlin for the boss to checkmate them. That seems pretty good. Yeah, sure. That seems fine. Knock out the Dedene. Now we just need to, like, Sinlin for... Yeah, they just concede anyways. Like, they, we got them. You know what? They might have put up a bit of a fight, to be honest. In the early game, you know, things got a little scary, especially because of Kyogre. Um, but resetting their energy is just super strong. Okay, get another match. We've hit, it looks like, potentially Pika Rom, which is... I don't know. That's not a matchup that I think is super... Well, it's okay, I guess. I mean, they have Bolton, though, which gives them an energy acceleration engine. All right. Our start is 
not ideal. Bird Keeper is okay, I guess. I don't know. We'll see what happens. This hand's not terrible, but I don't know. I wouldn't mind getting a power plan in play because they probably do play Mew 3. Our Shadow. Okay, maybe it's not a Pika deck then. Can't imagine they're playing a Pika deck with our Mar Shadow. That does not make any sense. Hmm. I do like the idea of calming here for a Pidgey. I think we just want to establish Pidgeotos. I don't know. I'm going to hold the hand, though. I think we can go Munchlax next turn. Yeah, we can just go into a Munchlax next turn, I think, with a Bird Keeper. I don't know. I want to get Pidgeys down, but I want to keep my P-Double alive. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know what they're playing just yet. So we... It could be a Welder deck. I guess it is a Welder deck. I can't... Yeah, it is a Welder deck. It's Welder Mewtwo. Welder does allow them to power Mewtwo, so that is scary. But we do have plants for a reason. But it's not looking like we're going to use them right away. Maybe I'll make them waste the swell. That'd be good. So we'll see what happens. I got Marsha. would be pretty good. There's a hood. Doesn't really make a difference, I don't think. Let make sure we set up. Yeah, there's a boss's order. Get Crobat. Yep, they're going to play it. Okay. I'm pretty sure p -Dove should live here. I don't think they can KO it. I, yeah, unless they play a Roar Energy, which they could play, and they might find this turn. They do have Church Ball. That can get a Vile Plume. Oh, no, bro. Don't KO my p -Dove, bro. What the heck did he ever do to you? Okay, they're digging. They do lose another they lose another welder though, which is good. The more welder they lose, the better. The more welder they lose, the better. How much I played a Snorlax? Honestly, I think this deck could probably use a few Snorlaxes. I think we should play some Snorlax in the deck. Alright, if we can live the turn, that'd be great. Alright, let's go, right? Is that good? They can outrage me for 30. I wouldn't mind knocking out the Mars Shadow though. We'll see. What do we draw? Tranquil. Not it, Chief. Hmm. Let's do this. Let's grab Munchlax. We're just going to sack Munchlax here. Please don't be prized. Thank you. Yeah, we should play Snorlax. This would be a great time to use Snorlax. We should definitely put a Snorlax in the deck. Definitely an addition I think we should make. One of the Munchlax. We're looking for more Pidgeys. There we go. Ooh, there's a triple too. Airmail. Well, I think we have to take uh, level ball. Well, we can put Bird Keeper on top of the deck. That's if we get it. I think we just want to grab level ball and play it safe. Make sure we get Pidgeotto next turn. We'll wait to play the Swell and we'll just Snack Search. Come on, Heads one time. Thank you for finally getting Heads Munchlax. I appreciate it a ton. Talking to a Munchlax, but we finally got Heads. Maybe if they bench lock themselves, they can't play Eldegoss. So they get an Eldegoss or Welder, but they're down two Welders now. The more Welders they lose, the more easier it is to win. I just want that Munchlax to get wasted, though. Like, I want them to lose Stadium so we can stick a plan in play. That's the big thing. I want to make sure we get a Power Plant to stick. Yeah, I really wish we played Snorlax, though. There we go. We finally see the Hearth coming down. Hopefully, they don't play Naganadel. That'd be pretty bad. There's another Dedene, so that will kind of bench lock themselves. They lose another Welder here. That'd be pretty good. I doubt it, though. We'll see, though. But anyway, two cards. What are they going to be? Switch and energy? Well, the energy's okay, I guess. They definitely will kill my Munchlax. If Munchlax lives, that'd be actually hilarious, but I doubt it. I'm the only way to live if they gust me, which they could still do, I guess. We'll see what they end up doing here. I kind of hope Tranquil does survive the turn, because we actually get value out of it here, so hopefully Tranquil lives. We'll see, though. Yeah, Tranquil, you got one job, buddy, and it is to not get KO'd by my opponent's Mewtwo and Mew tag team deck. They can't bench it. Well, they can Marshadow and then free up a bench spot, but they're down two to Den and Bad, so I highly doubt they're going to find a boss. Right? No boss's order one time, bro? Come on. I know you. No, you don't. Try. What? No, bro. Oh, he knocks out the bird, though. Okay, that's fine. They actually keep Munchlax alive, but that is annoying, but I actually am glad he knocked out the Pidgeotto and not the Tranquil. Should have knocked out the Tranquil. Oh, this, because they're doing Bird Keeper. All right, put that down. Make him waste Marshadow. Level Ball here for another Pidgeotto. I actually think he should only play two boss, so that should be his last boss. Maybe we should play Doll in the deck, actually. I don't know. A Bird Keeper. Nice. That's good. All right, we'll Airmail. Take the Evo Incense. I do want a supporter for next turn, actually. Let's take Bird Keeper again. 
I'm not going to attack this turn. I'm going to bench Mew. Attach to it. I'm going to Pidgey. Quit stamp here. We'll stamp the four next turn. We'll just do... Do we go into the Mew? I think we do. I actually think I want to keep Munchox alive. So let's just snack search. Heads again? No. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I want to keep Munchox alive if I can. I'd probably rather keep Munchlax and Mew. I don't think they play a Ben Snipe attack. I mean, they, oh, they might play again. I don't know. Whatever. I think it's fine to keep Mew alive. Hopefully they don't boss me this turn. That's what I'm scared of. I don't think they will. We need them to run out of Welder. Yeah, there's the Marshadow. So now we can stick Plant, hopefully. We need them to lose more Giant Hearth, though. I need them to lose Giant Hearth. They've only played one so far. But now they don't have Marshadow anymore. Okay, Guzman Hala. That's fine. Another energy. That's a good discard. They have Fire Crystal probably, but I don't know. There we go. There's Giant Hearth. So uh maybe if they play four Giant Hearth, we're screwed. If they only play three though, we're vibing. If they only play three Giant Hearth, it'll be okay. I mean, we don't have the plan, obviously, right now, but like the quicker we get it, the better. Hmm. And they don't play the Giant Hearth down. What do they know what I'm playing? The other thing this thing has a hood on it too, because it can't retreat. We are guaranteed to attack this turn, which is good. We need to get another uh, rank cooldown. Three. Well, when in doubt, get another Pidgeotto. Yeah, we need another P Dove. The big thing I'm looking for here is a P Dove. Come on, Airmail. Marnie and Sinlin's pretty good. We'll take Marnie. Marnie's actually pretty good for, for next turn. All right, we really want to get a P Dove here. There we go. Oh, uh, but we have to. Uh, no, that's fine. Make sure we get Pito. We could stamp now. I think we just save stamp though. Because stamp in the late game is how we're going to win. Especially stamp plant with downburst is going to be really good. We retreat Munchlax. Go into the downburst and hit them at 490 and reset their energy. All right. Now they just need a welder, which they probably do have in their hand. Because they did grab the giant heart. So they might have a welder in their hand. Maybe we should have stamped them knowing they might have a welder. I mean, they have two welders left in the deck. 20 cards left. Do they really have it? Probably. We need to find Rod to get back on Pheasant. Okay, air Balloon. They can't... Wait. Oh, does this reset tools? Oh my god, it does. What? Oh, I... That's actually kind of insane, bro. It resets the tools. So that's actually an interesting interaction. Oh, another research. Losing more energy, though, is good. Yeah, I forgot Downburst resets tools. I always thought it was energy. Okay, now they get the air balloon. That's actually kind of annoying. That's two air balloon down. They play three. Three air balloon in a Mewtwo deck. Sure thing. Oh my god. They Why do they play Rod? Oh no. Please don't get Marshadow back. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank heavens. Bro, what the heck happened? I wish we did play Doll in the deck. Doll would have been really good here. What do we top deck? Bruno's pretty good. I do want to Marnie them, though. Let me find Unpheasant. I think I'll just take Rod. Rod can guarantee us the Unpheasants. One Pheasant Pete of. Unpheasant? Let's go. All right. Well, we do have to rely on a Marnie here to get us an energy, which I don't think will happen. We could go Stamp Bruno. Actually, I think I think Stamp Bruno is just better. Yeah, I think it's just better. Let's just go Stamp Bruno. Because we need to attack him here. If we don't attack him, we could be in trouble. Now we need to find Power Plant Triple Energy one time. It's as easy as that. It's just too easy. It's actually too easy. Now, my opponent could get the nuts off of this. We'll see, though. We'll grab another P Dove. Could have gotten rid of the U-turn, uh, but I want to keep that. And we'll just downburst them. All right, let's go. We're still in the game. We're still in the game. That was an insane Bruno. All right, that worked out. All right, let's see if they can come back from this. They do play Oppressor's Research, which is annoying. They might have another one here, but they can't Welder to the Mewtwo. And if we get lucky, maybe we can boss chase something. This is an intense game. No, bro, they found the Welder. Oh, my God. Okay, they still need to find an energy in a stadium here. I bet you my opponent is kicking themselves that they didn't get the, uh, they didn't put Marshadow back with that Ornay Rod. Okay, please do not have a stadium, I beg of you. 
While they're for three, they're, you didn't get a stadium. Oh, they just scooped the game. Let's go. We got them on Pheasant. The burbs. The burbs. Dude. That's that's insane. They got a welder off that, but we're vibing, bro. They didn't get the stadium. And that's why Plant is so insane. All right, getting into another match. I did add the Snorlax, and I did cut Pidgeot out of the deck. I think the Pidgeot's pretty useless, to be honest. Just add Snorlax. Snorlax, you get more value out of. All right. Pidgey Pidgey Star. We're we'll about to start Pidgey here. This hand's not bad, though, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. It's not a, It's not great. Not bad though. We need a supporter. That'd be nice. No supporter kind of sucks. I will right, we'll see what we're up against here. It looks like a potentially a Pika deck, which it is winnable, but the Bolton is kind of a headache because it does have an energy acceleration attack. Ooh, single strike. Oh, but they have Houndoom, bro. What the heck? That's annoying. Alright, we'll quick ball away this for another Pidgey. I'll just pass. We can go double Pidgey out of next turn. Seems pretty good. Oh, we have triple. Maybe we can get rare candy on Pheasant and then like reset their laser focus. I wonder if we can actually beat single strike. It is possible. I mean, they have Houndoom though. Like that is annoying. But every time they do Houndoom, they have to attach the energy. They have to put damage on them. I don't know. Ooh, we're going to boss my Pidgey, bro. What did he ever do to you? Why do people pick on my boy Pidgey so much? Everyone's just picking on the Pidgeys. That's just rude. Actually just rude. It's just not cool, man. Not cool. I got the sack of Munchlax here. I want to get a Bird Keeper. That's the big thing I'm looking for is a Bird Keeper. Probably the little ball for another Pidgey, though, if worse comes to worse. Oh, there we go. We got Bird Keeper. Do another... What? Uh, okay, let's level ball for Munchlax. Please... Or... Yeah, Munchlax. Munchlax is prized. So is Mew. Good thing they're not playing Rapid Strike. Okay, we're going to Munchlax here. Rare Candy? Aw. Um, I think I'd rather just take the P Dove. Actually, no, I think we'll take Tranquil. They don't have a Houndoom in place. Actually, going on Pheasant here would be pretty good. Next turn, so let's just do it. Then we'll just go... Snack Search. So we've gotten... We flipped, what, five coins? And we flipped one head out of five coins with Munchlax. Absolutely rigged. The most rigged card ever made. They bench a Mew, which I think is a mistake, because they want to probably just fill up their bench with Houndooms and Hound Hours, but sure thing. They do lose some switching cards. Maybe we can win by trapping something. Yeah, rip our Munchlax. This man didn't stand a chance. If only we got heads on Snack Search. Snack Search sucks, man. It never gets heads, but I swear it's the worst stack I ever made. There they go. They can finally get a thing. Ooh, that actually, they, honestly, they should be using this to attack. Craigalanch is annoying. They could actually run me out of triples if I'm not careful. Like if I get to the point where my deck is really thin, they could honestly run me out of energy with that Tyranitar. It's not like insanely possible, but it is possible at the end of the day. Only one Hound Hour. That's good. They didn't get a. Uh, they can't get single strike scroll on, which is nice. Okay, what do we top deck here? Now we draw the bird keeper. Can't play it unless we find a what's his face here. Not pheasant or a uh, free retreating thing, which I don't think we will. Not being able to play bird keeper sucks. You turn board though one time. Okay, Bruno is beautiful. That is perfect. What I was looking for. We'll do another airmail. I want to see if I can get another Pokemon. No nope. power plant though. Um. I'll just play it down now, I guess. And just Bruno. I was looking for a Pokemon so we can calm for another P Dove. Alright, the game's like, yo, here you go. Have another P Dove. There you go. And a rare candy. Easy peasy. Let's hit them here. A whopping 70 damage, but we are in reset energy, and they only have one hound hour in play. And not only that, they don't have a single strike scroll on just yet. Well, well now they can play it. I forgot we keep putting the tool back in the deck. Who designed that, bro? What the heck? That's in that's actually kind of insane that we can put the tool back. Okay, if we can find a triple next turn, I'm actually tempted to chase the Hound Hour here. Never mind, it turns into a Houndoom. We could knock out their Houndooms, though. We'll see. I don't know, it's another deck that has a built-in energy acceleration system. It's like... It's just not good. It is not good for us. They could knock me out if they find the scroll here. They have a two-card hand, yeah. They have a Marnie. That's pretty bad. We do lose our Rare Candy on Pheasant, which is super unfortunate. Just put us closer to triple, though, which we didn't get. We do have boss, though. We could always try to boss, like, trap the other Urshfu or something. Yeah, there's another Hound Hour. It's gonna be hard to defeat my opponent when they can just get energy and play every turn. That sucks, man. We can boss the Hound Hour, maybe, and knock it out. Might have to be the play. Spread the energy out. Interesting. Huh. Surprised they did that. Okay, they're going double urge for VMAX, which is fine. All right. 
They can't do anything this turn. Let's have a scroll on, which would suck. All right, nice. Insane. Best top deck ever made. Ever made? Best top deck ever. Um, we got another Pidgey. I was going to get a Tranquil there, which probably would have been better, to be, to be honest, but I don't know. Calm and playing it. I think I'll take Calm. Seems good. Airmail again. There's the Pheasant. Go triple. Boss, knock out the Hound Hour. That it has to be our play. We have to take out their energy acceleration things. It's like, I don't have much of a choice. I don't have much of a choice. Nice. Another P-Dev. We can get Tranquil with that. Assuming all goes well. So, can they kill me this turn? I don't think they can. They can't beat down with all that in the air. Beat down. No, we, they can knock me out with beat down. Okay, now they can. They had to go triple single to knock me out with beat down. So, we should live here. Living the turn is good. Thank you, one peasant, for having a resistance to fighting. You are a god, a gamon gog. They could boss, though, this turn. They could do a boss. There's a Tyranitar. Are they going to bench it? Hopefully, they bench it. Till they... No, okay. So, we just want to hit them, I guess. All right, triple Pidgeotto. Okay. A con for Tranquil. Get the Tranquil. We're going to... All right, here we go. Airmail. We need a supporter and a triple. There we go. We got the triple. We need to get a supporter still. A bird keeper or something. Not a boss. I said not a boss. We'll take it, though. That's still fine. They could bench another. What's his face? Supporter? No. Another Pidgey. We'll take it, I guess. Why not? I'm not going to bench it, though. Then we're just going to go... Oh, we could bench it. Yeah, we'll bench it. Why not, I guess. Then we'll just downburst. Yeah, there's no reason not to. I bench it, I guess. Having four Pidgeotos is pretty nice. All right, here we go. Knock him out. Now we got to hope we live the turn. If they don't have a single strike scroll or a switching card here, hopefully we can live. Because if we can live the turn, that'd be pretty great. Get another hit on this Urshifu would be nice. So yeah, please. If we can live, that'd be great. And if we can find another triple next turn, we can try to go boss this single strike and reset their energy. But the match of the Hound Hour, we're also going to chase that. They might play an Ornate Rod, though, so... <sighs> they had the switch. No. Dang it, bro. Why you got to find the switch when you need it the most? Oh, or on uh, Pheasant's like Honor. Oh, maybe not. Oh, they're gonna go with Houndoom. I don't think that's a good play, though, because we knock out their Houndoom. I mean, we can't knock it out because it has 110 HP, but like, I don't know. I don't think that was a good play, to be honest. Because if we knock out their Houndoom, they're like unable to attack. I, like, they have Single Strike, though. They have, this, they have the Scroll of Scorn. Hmm. I mean, this is still an uphill battle no matter what happens. This is still going to be an uphill battle. All right, nice. That was a nice first airmail. I really want to see if I can find an... We need another P-Dove. Okay, Sinlin's good. We can finally play a supporter. Another airmail. Ooh, Marnie and Quick Ball. Dang it, they're all good. They're all good. We can Quick Ball for... Hmm, how many candies have we played? That's our first candy. Okay, we can grab... Doing Marnie's not terrible, though, to be honest. Nah, we'll take Quick Ball. I want to get another P-Dub down. We can go Quick Ball away the boss for the P-Dub. We need to make sure we get on Pheasant. We can actually afford to Sinlin away the rare candy because we still have three in the deck. There's a ton of rare candies left. We can afford to get rid of that. I'm just going to grab... I'll grab Bruno. Sure. Bruno seems pretty good. Nice. We got the Quad Birds. All right, all right. Quad Pidgeotto, relax. Chill out. There's another rare candy. We'll take it. They could Marnie me, I guess. That's fine. We retreat. Go on a peasant. Not knock them out, but hit them. Leave them with a bit of HP left. Maybe we can finish them off with Mew. We can always boss finish this off now, which is good. They can't attack with us anymore. They still can't knock me out with beatdown either. So that's good. Hopefully they don't get a prize this turn. They need to build up the... Yeah, I don't think they take a prize this turn. They'd have to attack with Houndoom. If they do that, they get knocked out, which would be amazing. Where's that last tower? And we get a swell to stick. I don't think it matters if we use power plant or not. Oh, they got me. Dang it, they had that last single. So they can knock me out here. Never mind, that's pretty annoying. We have quad bird, though. We should be able to find another on pheasant and reset their energy. Oh, they don't do any. Oh, let's go. That's so good. And we just, wow. We just top deck the unfed. That's actually hilarious. We can go air mail. Grab reset. 
All right, what do we want to do? Do we want to boss them or let's assume we find triple, which, oh no. It doesn't look like we're going to find the triple. I actually think we just knock out Houndoom. We could have grabbed Craft Energy. Oh, never mind. We got triple. I don't know. I'm tempted to boss them here. I also just like knocking out their Houndoom. How many Mars do they play? They've only played one. I kind of like knocking out the Houndoom. We knock out. We hit this though. We can get knocked out by the single strike. I just like knocking out Houndoom. Right, we want to take out the Houndoom, so I think we just knock out Houndoom here. I'm fine with just KOing their Houndoom. Don't knock me out. And we have another Unpheasant anyway, so it's not a big deal. We'll do Palpad, put back Zinlin and Boss. Yeah, I'm cool. I should have used the Capture Energy to knock them out, but we can save Capture Energy maybe for a rainy day. Yeah, knock out their Houndoom. The less Houndooms they have, the better. Take our prize. Nice. Another triple's huge. We'll see what happens. They're probably another Hound Hour down this turn, though. But we have a stamp to three. This can be a close game, guys. I don't know. We can win this, but it's going to be tough. This is still very much an uphill battle. We're close, though. We can knock out this and then knock out this to win the game. So, send up our win condition. Yeah, the problem is the scroll. If all, Why does Downburst have to reset the memory capsule? That's kind of annoying. All right. Did they prize their last two Hound Hours? I think that's what happened. Unless it's in their hand. It sucks. Oh, yeah. Downburst putting back the memory capsule is so dumb, bro. Yo, why are you doing that? Just put the energy back. Because now we give them a single strike scroll. It's like, bruh. Okay, I do want to try to get a thing in play. But what we could do, we could deck out something at this point. Like, they are down a lot of switching cards. Impact blow. I forgot. Why would they not knock me out last turn? Then? Oh, I guess it's gonna be the Hound Doom. That was a beautiful top deck. Now I just go, go here, go here. I mean, we can save the stamp because they might knock me out again. You know. Let's just do a bunch of air mails. Yeah, they might knock me out again. To be honest, I mean, they have a single strike scroll. Nice. There's a swell finally. Another airmail. Just keep on airmailing. We're probably going to get killed by a single strike scroll here. I don't know if our efforts are enough, to be honest. Take the rod, play it, put back our stuff and things, aka uh, P Dove and Tranquil. Sure. Could have put Munchlocks back. Might have been terrible. Just knock him out here. We're not going to hit him. Reset their energy. The problem is if they get a single strike scroll in energy, we are a goner. If only Downburst didn't put back the stupid memory capsule, bro. Why does it do that? <laughs> I hate that, bro. Not like this. Now they're going to get a single strike scroll on and knock me out, but I had to hit them with Downburst. Okay, they're going to boss. That's fine. Are they going to try to stall me for a turn? Well, they do have a Hound Hour, but why are they not benching that? I mean, they bench it. We're going to boss chase it, obviously, but... Good thing we saved that U-turn board. That's why I saved it, just in case. Just in case. this stuff that I figured this would happen. Because we can't do Bird Keeper and Boss in the same turn. Well, we have 130 HP left. Hmm, okay, what do we top deck? Another Pheasant. Well, they have one Hound Hour. They have one Doom left, so we can just knock out their Hound Hour here, I think. I do want to try to find a... We need to get another Rare Candy on Pheasant down. I don't know where the Rare Candies are. Are they even in the deck? Where are they at? There we go. I was about to say, bro, where's our candies? Another on Pheasant. They have to go the one... Oh, no, you know what? When I played the Rod, I should have been back in on Pheasant. Oh, my God. I didn't realize. I just... Didn't bother counting the unpheasants. Oh, no. So we only have two unpheasants left to work with. We don't have much lack either. Oh, crap. That's not good. Now we're even more on the clock. Oh, gosh. That is not good. Uh, I, they are down to switch. I think we just hit the active then. Because now we're... Yeah, I think we just hit the active. I'm a dummy. I, I sh Why did I get back the Tranquil, bro? Dang it. I might have thrown the game by not rotting back the unpheasant. All right, we're going to hit them. Oh, no. We can still attack with Gus, so it's not that big of a deal. 
Oh my gosh, why? Dang it, bro. Dang it, I messed up. I messed up pretty badly by not putting back the unfest with the rod. I, uh, why did I do that, bro? Someone's already commented that, I bet. I bet someone's already commented that. I'm like, bro, Little Dark Fury, why you gotta make a misplay, bro? I know you're live commentating. It's kind of hard to focus on everything all at once. But why do you gotta make a misplay, bro? I thought I thought P2 YouTubers were the best players ever and they were so perfect and they never make misplays. Bro, same. I thought I thought P2 YouTubers were like just so perfect players that they can never make a misplay, bro. Same here. Okay, so now we just win, pretty much. So we got him in the end. That was pretty close, though. <laughs> Jeez. Uh -huh. That was pretty dang close. Definitely misplayed a little bit there. We'll even stamp them for good. No, they didn't do anything last turn. And we just downburst them. I just want to make... Okay, hold on. Let's just make sure we're burning as many cards as we can in case they do... In case they do Marnie me here. So now we just win next turn. We're just going to go boss, knock out, Mew, or Hound Dower. We're still going to beat him, but I definitely misplayed by not putting back that third on Pheasant. But we're still going to get him at the end of the day. Uh, we are getting a bunch of dead cards of the prizes, though, which kind of scares me. There's a Snorlax. We finally get it. We didn't get to use it, though. So now we win this, right? They bring in this thing. They knock me out if they have a memory capsule or an energy. And then we just go... As long as we don't get stamped or boss, we... Well, we have Quad Pidgeotto and a bunch of supporters. So, like, I'm feeling pretty safe, even if my opponent doesn't get me here. But I do want to make sure we boss their Mew. And there we go. That's game. Beatdown will, unfortunately, kill me. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because we are going to go... Promote the Unpheasant. Attach the triple. It lets me. There we go. Bosses order up the Mew. And GG's. Ooh, that was... A, that that was... <laughs> that was actually... I mean, even though we didn't misplay with the Rod, that game was still pretty tough, right? Though The Hound Dooms make it super hard to win. And the fact that we reset their memory capsules is annoying. We can't punish them for attaching a non... Uh, single strike scroll because it shuffles the memory capsule back. That's insane. Anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy today's PTCGO video on this crazy on Pheasant deck, which is a lot of fun to play, leave a like on the video and subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. Help me on the road to reaching 17,000 subscribers. Check out Car Cabin down below. As always, guys, use code LDF if you get any codes. And that'll be it for the video on the on Pheasant deck here. A lot of fun to play. Definitely give it a try if you haven't already. I'll catch you guys later.